This is a bronze sculpture that I have uh, worked on for uh, for the uh, for a few years actually. Um, it is been it's the final result of uh, many sculptures that I made with balls and with people, and this is the it is um, I have th it is a, a sculpture that that um, uh, developed itself uh, with me. Um, I um, it is called equanimity, and um, if you look well, then when you turn it around, it's a question mark. So the ball is on the on the bottom, and on the I put it actually on the on the feet. And if I turn it a little bit like this, just it's almost an exclamation mark. So it that for me means that it plays with uh, the questions of life, and at the same time, it also is like a tribute to life almost as an exclamation mark. It is a, a female body that is lays on her back and carries the ball on her feet. The way how I positioned it, it is, um, it there is a connection, it's a connection between the sky, of course, and what is up there and the earth. And right now it's standing on a on a sockle on a um, on a stand, but um, which is nice I think in the smaller version in this version. But I will be making this sculpture um, in Italy, directly mounted on a mountain. I will tell you about that in a minute, a little bit more. Um, I will first uh, uh, first I want to tell you about the more the signification of the sculpture because not only is it carrying uh, the world it's of course significant uh, uh, it of course symbolizes carrying a life um, she has to hold herself to stay in position to stay balanced uh, which I think we all have. It draws, therefore, to a sort of universal force that we all need to have in times when uh, either we are hurt or affected by things that happen in life or outside of us or the things that happen within us. Um, and I think we all in our life go through these phases. Um, at the same time, and this is therefore it's also a, a, a you say almost a person personification of who you are it is a it is a very playful sculpture because when you make life a game then harmony and balance is what we gain gain you can make a little poem out of it um, now i go to the to the uh, to the to the um, part where i'm actually very thankful for I just uh, got a contract for uh, uh, to make this sculpture in Italy, and it will be mounted on a on a mountain just outside of Volterra, which is uh, a lovely town in Tuscany. And um, I have been working there in the summer, and this uh, came through first having an exhibit at the Biennale in in Italy in Florence, then I exhibited in uh, a small gallery in uh, Florence, where I met the owner of the, um, of the Fattoria, where I will be placing this sculpture, who was, um, who was intrigued by my work. And um, uh, he invited me to come work at his uh, estate, farm, which I did in the summer. And this led to um, him giving me the, he basically asked me to take initiative and to to draw a sculpture for him that I thought would be appropriate for the landscape. Well, I uh, this was not very easy because I um, uh, felt truly that I, uh, after a few days, I felt I cannot really make anything that adds to the beauty of this landscape because it is, it's perfect as it is. And um, so I got stuck and I told him this and and as I think, uh, yeah, as it goes in life, then if you're honestly 
respecting other people's uh, properties or other people's lives and uh, then um, people respect your uh, people res respect your way of working and how y how you look at the world almost um, I went home and thought more about it and um, came up with eight designs that I thought were appropriate for him or that I could see in the landscape and called him and went down to Volterra and we we uh, we came both we, we mutually agreed but we, we both felt that this was a sculpture um, that stands on its own and has a strong feeling of force it brings a connection it, it works with the connection between the sky and the earth because it will be directly mounted on the on the mountain and it blends in very well with the with the countryside with the hills uh, with the in Tuscany um, I think I will be making it I will it will be made in bronze and the patina is always of course to be decided uh, once it is there um, I now am most inclined to uh, to do it in the color that I have this little one um, in in this color which is um, a mix which is a mix of greens and reddish and brownish uh, patinas all over each other layer over layer um, I went down to Tuscany uh, last week with uh, the my, s my sponsor, with the man from my foundry and another artist of the Netherlands to, to make the, the drawings of the proportions because you have to be careful when you, uh, when you create a big sculpture like this. You cannot just enlarge it as such because then the, wall the ball would be way too big. So... Um, it has to form, in the end, the shape of a pyramid on the mountain. Um, the position is also still to be decided. As you see, uh, this is also what we will be doing in Tuscany. We will build the foundation, but with an empty uh, circular shape in which the, the, the sculpture will go. Um, so that we can turn it around and um, then decide the, the, the best position.